Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding. All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box. So if you like the work we are doing and if you are learning something from our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Navigation view is an import part of Swift UI. User interface, we can make dual column easily and we can also use stack navigation to make more simpler UI. But Mac OS Swift UI don't include better stack navigation view. So today we are going to learn how to build your own custom navigation view. Inside the content view, we first build two button which will show the text for view first and view second and we leave action empty for now. Then we add frame modifier with minimum width and height. Then we create a private function called as subview which takes index which confirms to integer as input. And it will return any view as output. Inside it, we create a switch case default layout and create our views as we want to display. Then create a Swift UI view as stack navigation view. Inside it, we remove the preview part. Then we need to create a generic for our stack navigation view. Inside the generics, we will require a root content and subview content. Both of them confirms to view protocol which in this case means you can provide any kind of content you like, but whatever it is, it must confirm to the view protocol. Then we need to create a binding as current subview index as integer. This will tell which index we are showing as detail view. Create another binding as showing subview, which confirms to bool which helps to identify that we are in subview or not. Then we create a let for subview by index and root view, which returns the subview content and root content. Then we create the initializer for stack navigation view. It will take the current subview index showing subview boolean. Then it will take the subview index which is as escaping function as this will require when the application and not before opening. Subview index is view builder which shows the subviews. Then finally, it will require our root view, which is also a view builder, and it will be as escaping function as well. Then we create a stack navigation subview structure which will require the content as generic which confirms to the view.
This will have the binding visible, which shows if the subview is visible or not. Then it will show the content. Inside the body of the view, we create a vStack which will show our content view. We also create a toolbar which will show a back button. Then inside a stack navigation view, we create a vStack. Then inside it, we check if it is not showing sub view. We show the root view and add the transition of more from the leading. So it will be showing the stack like view, we show sub view. Then if showing the sub view, we are going to show the stack navigation sub view. For the content inside it, we show the sub view by index from the switch statement we create on the content view. Finally, we also add transition with move from leading side. Inside the content view, we are going to create two state first for the current subview index and other for showing subview. Then inside the body of content view, we add stack navigation view and add relevant initializer inside it. Then for the root view, we add the closure and add our button V stack inside it. Then we create another private function inside the content view to show sub view with index. Inside the function, we add the animation closure with ease in the duration of 0.3 second. Inside the closure, add the current subview index to form the button and add showing subview state to true. Then inside the button, we add respective the index and functions.
So here we can see that our VStack navigation view for the Mac is working fine. For the view, we need to add the frame max width and height to infinity. So here we can see that how view react when we click button and open another view. Now we add a stack view navigation inside the navigation view of Swift UI. Then we create a sidebar inside the list and add a navigation link inside it. So here we can see our navigation view is working just fine along with navigation view. And here we can see that a navigation bar button being smaller and bigger when we enter sub view. To fix it, we need to add navigation toolbar. Now let's check our app inside the iPad view. And here we can see that it is also working inside iPad fine. So this is how we custom build the stack navigation view using Swift UI. So yeah, I really hope that you all like this content. Please do let us know that how do you all plan to use this feature inside your app in the comment section box. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.